Hey guys, uh, I am currently at uh, Mark and Jess's apartment. Today is um, the actual day that I'm videoing this, is the day I'm posting this, so this is completely up to date. Um, I had plans while I was here recovering from my uh, sickness to make some videos just in the apartment and uh, just have some content to throw out there while I'm waiting things out, but I've been uh, having a lot of trouble with this sickness. Um, a lot of my uh, symptoms came back like with a vengeance. So um, I've had a really tough time the past four or five days with um, extreme nausea and just constant bathroom trips, losing a lot of fluid, getting dehydrated and stuff like that. So I think two nights ago was probably the worst night for me. I did about 25 bathroom trips in one night and I lost roughly about three gallons of fluid from my body. And uh, even drinking water made me like violently nauseous. So um, that was a really, really tough day. But yesterday was better. I was able to uh, eat some food and drink some tea without uh, feeling nauseous. And then today I'm feeling pretty normal, but I'm still eating just some like really low key foods like soup and um, toast and stuff like that so that I don't upset it. Um, I believe that I have Giardia. I experience, I haven't had a medical diagnosis. I haven't gone to urgent care or anything, but um, I'm experiencing every single symptom that's listed for Giardia. Um, that is a parasitic infection um, that you contract by drinking unfiltered water. And there were two days on the trail when I was alone uh, heading to Monarch Pass where I did not filter my water because it was so cold outside that I didn't want to stop and lose body heat. So I just filled up a bottle real quick and, you know, just take a couple swigs and it'd be fine, right? Well, apparently not. So I will be filtering water for ever now. I might even filter my tap water because it's so bad. <laughs> but um, I'm feeling much better now, so that's awesome. Um, I'm just hoping that this continues in an uptrend. Things have been kind of like a roller coaster. If you guys have noticed, you know, I was really sick at Mark and Jess's the first time around. Then I felt better and they took me back to the trail and then I felt worse again. And then I came off the trail and like yesterday's video and a couple of videos before I was better again. And then when I got to Mark and Jess's, I felt terrible. So it's, um, just giving me a lot of mixed signals. And I'm just trying to, uh, you know, deal with it. So I'm roughly like 11 or 12 days into this sickness. And Giardia usually lasts one to two weeks, but it can be up to six. So if this lasts longer than a couple more days, I'm going to be going to urgent care to get an anti-parasitic. Um, but for now, I'm just waiting it out because I'm in the normal, typical range. Um, it's supposed to resolve on its own. Uh, so hopefully that works out pretty well. Long-term effects, the only one I can think of other than like the six weeks of potential issues is that you can be, you can uh, get lactose intolerance for anywhere from like a couple months to the rest of your life. So um, the next time I try some cheese, I'll let you guys know what happens there. I really hope that I don't have lactose intolerance because cheese is like one of my favorite parts about being alive. <laughs> so... Um, We'll see, but yeah, really, really glad to be feeling better today and to be able to just like drink and eat without having any problems um, going to the bathroom normally so far. So hoping that just keeps on going. Um, well, so yeah, so I couldn't video anything because I was basically just doubled over in bed, just waiting out all this intense nausea for the past like four days. So all the days kind of blended together and I don't even really know what day or date it is right now. So um, I don't have any videos for you guys, which means unfortunately I'm going to be going dark um, in terms of YouTube for probably a week, maybe two weeks, because they'll have you know this week off with Mark and Jess and then possibly longer up to two weeks with them because they, they like having me here. So um, I'm taking advantage of having that opportunity and waiting out the snow. And then once I get back on trail, I need to hike it and then get into town and upload those videos for you guys to see. So it could be like two, two and a half weeks in the dark um, for YouTube videos. But um, since I'm a bit better and I can do more stuff now, we're going to be um, checking out some state parks around Colorado Springs and maybe doing some hikes maybe in a couple days when I feel even better than now. 
And um, I'll video some of those so you guys have something to check out. But uh, there is no way I'm quitting the CDT. I have no plans on doing that at all. I'm really, really excited to get back on trail. I'm just going to wait until I'm completely healthy to do it. And also the side benefit that the longer I wait, the more snow melts. So um, everything's still full go for the CDT. It's just going to take a little longer. My only goal is to beat Old Man Winter to the Canadian border, which I'm told is usually about the first week of October. And I'm scheduled to finish like the last week of September. So I'm like right in there. So I have like a you know week or a couple weeks of leeway. But when I get on trail and I'm healthy and strong and uh, good to go, I'm sure I'm going to be wanting to make some pretty big miles. So I'm really not worried about the timeline. And even if it does start snowing once I get to the Canadian border, I'm just going to keep going. I've been through plenty of snow in Colorado so far, so it's not, not worrying me too much. As long as they don't close the park or anything like that, it'll be fine. So, um... With all that said, I am having a, you know, other than the sickness, having a great time with Mark and Jess as they are excellent hosts, really awesome people. So just hanging out with their dogs and cat and watching movies and playing games and, um, you know, most, most of the time laying down. But we, uh, I love video games. So well, Mark and I played uh, Bioshock and um, and Portal 2. So I don't know if any of you guys are into games, but that's a... Uh, some of my favorite stories so i've been playing those and then just um, a couple trips to the grocery store but can't spend too much time in the car so that's about it really boring couple of days but needed so i can rest so i apologize that um i'm gonna be going dark for a while but i'll have some updates for you guys and know that the cdt hike will continue um just all when the the right time is so um so thanks for all the support and i appreciate all the messages of uh, coming in in support of me and my hike and hoping that I feel better. It's really awesome and uh, makes me feel pretty great. So you guys are the best and um, I'll be catching up with you pretty soon. So I'll talk to you in a bit.